In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a self-coaching journaling exercise to help you get to the root of the problems in your work and life, as well as how to find the best solution for you. So hey, what's up family? If you're new here, my name's Mitch. I'm a clarity coach. I help you create a life job and impact that aligns with who you uniquely are because you are awesome, my friend. So what is a self-coaching journaling exercise? So I've basically built this journaling exercise based off two things, the five whys technique and what I would go through with people in my coaching calls with them. So the five, tech, five whys technique, if you don't know, is basically a process when in your business or in life, when there's an issue or a symptom that's showing up, you're asking that thing, okay, why is that occurring? Okay, why is that occurring? Why is that occurring? And getting down below the surface each time to try and get to the root of the problem. And then if you can solve that root, you can solve the symptom as well. So I really like that technique, but this uh, method sort of builds on that where we're not just asking why each time, but instead asking really good open-ended questions, but again, to try and peel back the layers. And then it's also built off what I go through in a coaching session with my clients. So it's built off the structure and the way in which the client and the coach are both playing their role in that interaction. So in this journaling exercise, you're actually gonna be playing both the role of the client and the coach. So why is this so effective? So in the coaching that I do at least, there's so many different types, but it's built on the belief that everyone has most of the answers that they need in their life or any problem or thing they're facing or place they're trying to get. They either already have the answer somewhere inside them or the knowledge to get there is easily accessible, particularly in this day and age. And so the coaching process is not me showing up and telling you what to do with your life because you are the master of your own life. You know better than me what is best for you. So the coach's role is actually to ask really good questions, to provide a space and a structure for you to come to your own answers and then to hold you accountable. And so in this journaling exercise, by playing both the role of the client and the coach, you're helping yourself uncover your own answers. What you will be missing out on though, is that the coach will be holding you to account if you are actually working with a coach. Plus the coach is mirroring back to you what you're saying. So sometimes we can get stuck in our own narratives of what is going on and the coach being removed from that is able to mirror that back for you and question what is actually going on and question your own stories of what is happening and your own beliefs. And so in this process, we really wanna to try to not trip ourselves up, but try to ask ourselves questions that are going to make us justify, you know, what it is we believe or what our position is inside of this and what role we're playing as part of this situation. And in doing that, hopefully you're able to peel back some of these layers and get to where the real root of the problem is and how you can move forward in the best way. So let's jump into the journaling process. So like I said, it's built on a process of question and answer. So you're playing both the role of the coach, which is the questioning and the client, which is the answering. And so with your questioning, you want them to be open-ended questions. You want them to be, you know, the answers aren't yes or no. They're questions in which they re require a long form response. And in that explanation, in that response, that's where the insight is gonna come from. And on that, yeah, on your, in your answering, don't just be dot pointing. You don't have to necessarily do massive paragraphs, but don't do just like five word dot points. Like you need to really journal and speak into what you're writing. And so the process is broken down into three phases. The first stage is establish, the second is explore, and the third is evaluate. So in establish, we're gonna be setting the direction for the journaling process, as well as what we're trying to get out of it. So the first question you're gonna ask yourself is, what would you like to journal about today? And again, here's where we're gonna do a long form journaling uh, response. After you've written that out, we wanna set our desired outcomes. So with 
your outcomes, ask yourself what are you trying to get out of this conversation or what would you like to walk away with at the end of this conversation? And with your response here, you wanna to try to push yourself to get to an as measurable point as possible. So, you know, if you're trying to get out some actionable tasks, that's very measurable because if you've got some actionable tasks, that's great. But if it's something like, oh, I'm just feeling uncertain about this and I'd like to, you know, write about it, then maybe give yourself a number of one to 10. Like I'm currently feeling a nine on uncertainty right now and I'd like to move that down to a seven by exploring the process a little bit more. And how would I feel if I got it down to a seven? But just trying to really get as measurable as, as possible so that when we're doing the journaling, we have a direction, we know where we're trying to head and lead ourselves. And so that's it for the established stage. We're just setting what it is we're talking about and what it is we're trying to get to at the end of this. And now we're moving into the explore stage, which is the bulk of the journaling process. And now in this stage, you might wanna set a question limit or you might wanna set a time limit on how long you wanna do this for so that this phase doesn't blow out too far. But this process is really just the bulk of the question and answer phase. So you're really gonna take on the role of the coach and the client here. So the coach's role here is to ask really good questions. So like with the whole foundational belief of this process, you have the answers somewhere inside you or you know where to get the answers from. And so the first question you're gonna ask yourself in this stage is, where would be the best place to start? And when you're answering this, you know, think where would be the best place to start in exploring this process? How could I try to cut through my story or cut, try to, where could be a place that I know when I feel into myself, that is something that is uneasy or that I need to work on. And so you're gonna write out a long form response here. Now just take a second, take five, 10 seconds, take a couple breaths and think to yourself, what is the best question I could ask myself right now to try to peel back another layer or to try to explore this topic a little bit more just with real curiosity, you know, how could I break this open a little further and feel into your body like you are the one that is part of this process. That's part of the problem with being a coach is that, you know, I'm not experiencing what the other person is experiencing. So when I'm asking questions, I'm trying to judge the situation and try to peel back the layers. But as the person that's going through this yourself, you're in one hand held back because you're stuck in your own narrative and your own beliefs. But on the other hand, you're also able to feel into yourself. And if you can do that effectively, you can actually ask yourself really great, great questions that are gonna help you delve down into these lower levels. And so when we're asking ourselves these questions, we wanna ask ourselves open-ended questions like I've said. So to do that, all you have to do is start with either who, what, when, where, or how. So a who question could be, who are you being in this situation? Who would you like to be in this situation? A good what question could be, what is the most important aspect of this to you? Or what would someone who's already figured this out have done? Some good when questions could be, when did this process start? Or when will you know you've achieved your goal? Some good where questions could be, where would you like to be? Where have you come from? Some good how questions could be, how are you adding to this situation? Or how would someone else that disagrees with you see this? And this is the real meat of the journaling process. And so by posing these open-ended questions and forcing yourself to answer them in long form and trying each time to peel back another layer, Hopefully through this, we're really delving down into what the core of the problem is. Instead of when we're just generally journaling, sometimes we can just 
write massive pages or paragraphs and we're staying on the surface. But the key to these questions is to, with each question, you're trying to get further away from the surface of the problem and down into what is really going on. And so you're gonna get the most out of this if you can be really open and raw in your responses and truthful, as well as being courageous in your questioning. So, you know, there are some places that might be uncomfortable to take yourself in these questions. And, you know, that may be a really potent place to your go for yourself to go. If you're feeling hesitation to ask yourself a certain question because you're afraid to answer it, it's probably a good indication that you need to ask that question and you need to force yourself to answer it. And so we want to stay in this place and just delve further and further down until you're happy with it or the time limits come up or you've asked enough questions of yourself. So once you're happy with the explore stage and you feel like you've explored the topic and brought some new insight into it, now we're moving into the evaluate stage. So in the evaluate stage, it's got two key parts. Firstly, we're looking for insights from the conversation. So I want you to ask yourself, what insights did I take? What new, what two to three insights have I taken from this process? Or what have I learned about myself from this process? What have I learned about this situation from this process? But just looking for insights and new things that have come into your awareness from this process. And then the final step in the evaluate stage is to look for next steps. So where do you need to go after this? based on these insights, based on these new awarenesses, based on the outcomes that you wanted to get to at the end of this conversation or journaling process, what is the next step? What actions do you need to take? Do you need to talk to someone? Do you need to do more research? Do you need to just sit with it and process it? But what are you planning to do and how are you gonna keep yourself accountable to that? So this is where it's good to have a coach because they're holding to you to account and you're going to be speaking to them in a week or in two weeks or in a month. And so you're accountable to the outcomes that you set and the actions that you set. But when it's just you, you know, there's slightly less accountability there. So how can you also build in some accountability to these next steps that you've set? So that's it for my self-coaching journaling exercise for bringing greater clarity to what's going on in your life and work, as well as how to set better actions and get going and build momentum to creating things that you want. So I hope that you have enjoyed this process. Uh, let me know if you actually end up doing it. I would be really interested to get some feedback because like I said, I literally just made this up the other uh, couple months ago and I've, I've been doing it myself and have, yeah, really, brought some new awareness and um, really enjoyed this process personally. So if you have also enjoyed it, then I would love to hear from you. If you've watched it this far, then you are awesome. I appreciate you so much. And yeah, leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, see you family, bye.